Let's have some beer. Who? What? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thanks a bunch for joining me. For the beer of the today, we've got a can of Guava Paradise Lost by the Blood Brothers Brewing Company of Toronto, Ontario, coming at 6% ABV. Um, I failed to look it up beforehand. Is it right now, really quick? I feel like I've had another version of Paradise Lost. Paradise. No. No. I have not. Okay, fair enough. Um, this is my first time having this. <laughs> um, had a few bro 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 Blood Brothers beers up to this point, and most of them have been quite enjoyed. This was expensive, though. I want to say this was like a $6 can of beer. And, um... I don't know how you can justify that. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. $6 for a can of beer is, um... If it's some kind of bourbon-aged Imperial Stout or something. Yeah, okay, fair enough, but it's a... It's a sour. What? Um, crack it open. Give it a little roly-poly, just in case. And let's see what we have got. I need to alt-tab here and get my freaking window back up so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I can already hear the fizzy, fizzy, fizzy head just disappearing. I think... I think Mike's picking that up. I turn the noise suppression off with OBS because if I don't, then it can't pick up my what type stuff. Um, this looks pretty nice. It smells guava-y. With a pretty pronounced underlying, hey, I'm a sour beer aroma. That just funky... Super typical sour smell. Let's give her a shot. The sourness is balanced very nicely with some sweetness. It's very tasty. I want to say this is probably one of the better guava beers I've had, but I still can't say $6 or more for this can. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It might have been 650. Let me just quickly. Kapya, kapya, kapya. LCBO app. Got it. Search. Uh, guava. I imagine that should come up pretty quick. Um, or not? Oh, there. Six dollars and fifty cents. And then right below it, Clifford Brewing, Fruition, Blood Orange and Pink Guava Sour, for three ninety five. dollars Big Rig, Fricka Fruta, Pineapple Pink Guava Sour, is gross, but $3.20. Prince Eddie's Goon Buggy Guava Red Raspberry Blackberry Smoothie Sour, four ninety five. dollars Yeah, there's no... There's no getting around it. Blood Brothers... It's kind of shysty. It's like, I don't know what else to tell you. That's that's some... That's bullshit. That's... Yeah, that's just greed right there. Again, if someone from your brewery is watching, feel free to set me straight in the comments. But, yeah. I really can't see that price being justified. for the, It's good. For $6.50, my brain should be on the wall over there. They should have blown my mind to pieces. Water, malted barley, wheat, hops, guava, spices, and yeast. Sure, it's got spices. And, um... 7.04? It's August 16th. I'm assuming this is the 4th of July when this was canned. So pretty fresh, but... Still, like, 
Um, it's freaking ridiculous. Straight up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'd give it an eight. I'm ja I'm done ripping a whole point away for the price. I don't think I've ever done that before. But I'm legitimately really annoyed by that. Like, that's horseshit. Straight up. I was on tap today about this crap. Oh my god, hilarious. Uh, 5,199 ratings, 3.95 out of 5. And there's a little right up here. Calling all summer weather, report to Ontario, please. Our paradise lost guava is a golden sour ale re-fermented with heaps of guava nectar and is a juicy fruit forward brew with lingering tropical fruit aftertaste, a near perfect drink for the sweltering days to come. This would be great on a hot day in a patio. But I wouldn't drink one because I'm not gonna pay that anymore. I'm not I'm not buying another one of these. No, it's not happening. I, that's what you've done by making this six dollars and fifty cents. You've basically priced yourself out of a whole bunch of sales. I feel like I don't know at least at least half, like five out of ten people, would walk into that LCBO and be like, "That looks interesting." Six fifty. Whoa, get away from me. So, yeah. Again, anyone had this? Your thoughts, comments, giver. Because we're done. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, all that fun shite. And um, I'll be back. Something like this. Something a little more affordable than this. Pretty freaking soon. Peace out. Just had a funny thought in my head. That weird founders barrel aged, tequila barrel aged agave grapefruit thing I had. It was 9.7%, I believe. That was five sixty-five for that bottle. This stuff's ridiculous.